Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And no, this is not the return of PowerCast. However, we do need to make a very important announcement today. So to get things started, I'm your host, Richard Billy Jr. Today I'm joined by Ms. Dana Abercrombie. How's it going, Dana? I'm doing terrible. I cried for like an hour after reading this news. <laughs> Yes, yes. It, it, it is news that I, I was not happy to hear either. Um, but let me just make this clear before y'all wonder. Uh, Gary is currently, you know, working. You know, we both, we all are working on multiple things. So he didn't, he wasn't able to join this discussion. Obviously, when we have the full trailer for Power Go Season 4, he probably will be a part of that discussion. So stay tuned. But today we have to talk about the teaser trailer that was released for Power Ghost Season 4 and the announcement that that is the final season. It's going to be split into two parts. So obviously, this news was not good to hear. Um, we'll get into that. Dana's probably having some technical difficulties. She'll be right back. But I, I do have to say, uh, this is not some news I was expecting to hear. Now, obviously, if you have been watching these recaps, you know that we previously spoke yesterday about the Ghost and Tommy origin show, which is also in development. So it makes sense that they would make this announcement today, but still not the announcement that I wanted to hear for today. So for those of you who haven't heard, just to give you some context, season four of Ghosts is going to be split into two parts. The premiere starts on June 7th, and I believe that we're going to get the second half of the season on September 6th. Um, so before we get into the details, uh, I want to get your initial reaction to this news, Dana. Uh, were you very surprised? Are you glad that we're finally going to get an end to Tariq's story, at least as far as this is concerned? Or are you concerned that uh, about the future of power? <laughs> See, I had very mixed emotions, and I'm still mixing my emotions. Um, we're, this is the fourth season. Um, this was an absolutely great show. Remember, it started like, oh, we don't know. And then by the time that finale hit for the first season, we was like, yes, this is really good. Yep. And made a huge turnaround. And it really showed us that sometimes we don't know what we're talking about. So Tariq did the darn thing. And because of that, and because of how well-crafted the show was, and continues to be up until season four, after season four. Uh, you know, it, it just shows how incredible care that they had for this character. And I wanted to see more of the Tariq and Braden, you know, episodes and how they're going to tackle. We did with Wall Street. We're dealing with all of these um, investment firms. And we over, we went over to the UK. And there's all these different families, the Tejada families. We even sat through Mary's acting and her inability to <laughs> pronounce truth name correctly and you know that's what kind of made it really special and you know watching mary and her over the topness also made it special and getting involved with both of these families was really great and i thought we was also kind of exploring more of Braden's side of the family remember we had the whole college episode with the sister coming in mm -hmm. i was like oh we're gonna get everybody and to end like this breaks my heart but I also had to understand one thing. Tariq has been playing this character since he was like, what, 10 maybe? Yeah. From the original Power. We, uh, we watched him literally grow up in, in our eyes, eyeballs and everything. I think he's like 11 or something. And we've seen him embody this character for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And... I understand, I'm not sure who made the call or what, but it's okay because, you know, we've had him for so long. This is an extension of the original. And I think that they have given us, if you look into totality with the original ghost and with just, um, book two, they given us, you know, you could argue 10 seasons because it's yeah. been a continuation. So they've given us 10 seasons, and that's a lot longer than a lot of shows that have lasted on air today. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very happy. And for a Black show, too. Yay! So I'm very yes. happy, and I look forward to seeing what Michael Rainey Jr. does in the future. 
maybe it'll be completely but, something different. You know, and I, I, I hope he knows he's not typecast. We know that that's coming. That they're going to try yes. to typecast that boy. But I hope that whatever project he chooses, he's happy with. And I would like to see him, you know, play other characters and or whether or not he even wants to continue acting. Just go off and be happy. So I am happy in regards to that. But selfishly, I want it to be at least six episodes, six seasons to match the original power. Uh, I agree 100%. Uh, to go to your point about Mike, Michael Rainey Jr., he has already been open in saying that he doesn't really want this show to continue on for too much longer because he wants to do other things. So I agree. It makes sense. Uh, my only uh, comment is, uh, you know, I don't mind this show ending, uh, but there are uh, some other spinoffs that, uh, you know, I think they probably should be the ones to end. I'm just saying, but it's all good. You know, we're all power fans. We watch the shows, even some of those shows we don't think aren't quite as good. But this show, I liked all the people they brought to the show. The fact that you had Method Man come to this show and Mary J. And Method Man has been doing an outstanding job on this show. So I, uh, I'm very curious to see where they go from here. But again, they did they did emphasize in the press release they're going to go out with a bang. It's going to be very explosive, very exciting. Fans won't be disappointed. So I'm going to hold them to that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Now, before we get into the description of this particular season, uh, obviously we saw a teaser trailer. The teaser trailer is incredibly short, but... I want to go to you first, Dana. What were the emotions you felt when you saw that season, that 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 uh that teaser trailer? <laughs> well, after like gasping when it said final, um, <laughs> it looks very really exciting. No, it looks to be incredibly exciting. Um, there was a lot of it assumed that a lot of people are probably going to meet their the end of their fate. I, um, I wouldn't mind if it actually ends up being Monet. But I don't want Tariq to do it because that's not his thing. I would I would prefer, you know, if it's the family. Um, I know the finale left off with a with a huge plot twist. So that is exciting to see how that comes to fruition, where they blamed everything on Tariq. And so I really do hope that the family, you know, has to come to a decision. I think that to to whether or not they're gonna take out Mo Monet, how that's gonna come into play. Um, that's really the big thing. And then I don't know because it's the finale finale. I don't think that Tariq is going to quit the game. I just, I just, I don't, I don't feel like it, what it would be such a massive weird pivot unless something extreme happened. Maybe Brayden ends up dying. And it's like a come to Jesus moment where I can't do this anymore. I'm going to just stay and be a regular student and go to class. I, I, I don't know, but but definitely the, Monet has to go. And and that girl, I forgot. Oh, my God. It's been 20 years. Diana, maybe she has to go, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, funny you mentioned that because I did see that she was lighting candles in that teaser trailer. And I did see there was a scene where Monet was obviously crying out in emotion. So I do think one of the kids is gonna, gonna get killed. It might even be uh, Drew, since apparently, you know, that's the one she was the closest to. That could see that happening because we already spoke yesterday that we would like to see a Kane spinoff show. But I I do think, yeah, some people are gonna get taken out. And, and we're gonna get into the description here in a second because that description of the season sounds very revealing. Like you said, it's a situation where anybody can go, so we'll have to see what happens. But go go ahead. It would be more of a gut-wrenching heartache for Monet if it was Kane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would I – and mean, I know it was well, that we wanted that spinoff, it, but – ah! Yeah, I know, I know Kane. And Kane, we have been waiting to see Kane versus Tariq since that's this is the story they've been building up so that can definitely happen also we talk about uh, noma and the fact that she has a daughter that Tariq and brayden are eventually going to come in contact with that daughter so that is a threat as well that uh, noma has to worry about so
so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of exciting things they can do. Um, I'm very curious to see where it where where it goes. But uh, let's get into the description that we saw, because some mm -hmm. stuff that you mentioned, I think, uh, is going to come up. So, just as a recap, this is directly from Stars. Okay, in light of season three's explosive finale, it's Tariq St. Patrick and Brayden Weston against the world. With new alliances formed in each faction, Tariq and Brayden must find a way back into the game and a way to insulate themselves from ever being put in the same situation again. But when Brayden starts flirting with a new reckless lifestyle, Tariq wonders if there really is room for two at the top. So let me stop right there. That right there suggests to me that, yes, uh, maybe Tariq may have to take out Brayden. You know, I don't know, uh, but that means they're going to still have some tension as far as their relationship is concerned. Even though they were on the same page by the end of season three, they're probably going to run into some issues. Uh, what do you think about that? See, it's so weird because remember when Braden first kind of got started into this and he mm -hmm. remember that robbery, that botched robbery, and he was like a little bit scared and he couldn't kill anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, and then as we kind of watched the progression, he kind of got really excited about it. Still couldn't really <laughs> kill anyone, but got really excited. And, um, are we going to see a bloodlust with Brayden? Like, is he able to pull triggers? Is, is, Cause it's cute to like, we know that he wanted this business because it gave him something to do. Um, mm -hmm. he comes from power and privilege and he is a ride or die for Tariq. Remember that, that court scene remember he testified and we didn't know what was going to happen but he mm -hmm. pulled through with that when he testified mm -hmm. i just don't hope it's not something that's so drastic that takes us out of the character where all of a sudden he's like you know canaan at the end guns blazing and we're gonna get this money yo um but that seems to be really interesting to to watch the downfall if possible of their relationship and I think that it is such a great pivot from how we've seen best friends being depicted in the power universe. Because no matter how much they fell out, they came back together. And I would always call them the super friends. Remember, we see how Ghost and, and Tommy and Kane and they all fell out, but they came back together at the end. They were trying to kill each other at one point, but they all came back at the end. And mm -hmm. for them to completely fall apart and to say if one of them is killed by the other one wow that would yeah. be such an explosive and wonderful pivot that i look forward to that showdown and then how much is brayden going to show out and who is this <laughs> other woman that he's going to show out with like i have so many questions who is this woman is she even crazier than canaan or uh, the tahara family What's her power structure? This would be really good. So I'm excited for that one. Oh, yeah. Um, I would make the guess that uh, this other woman, it could have something to do with Noma's daughter. Obviously, uh, that is a person that they are going to have their eyes on at some point, you know, going into the new season. So uh, I look forward to seeing where they're going. But um, very exciting, very interesting, very dramatic. So got to stay tuned for that. You, you going to say something else? Yeah, if that is the case, and Brayden ends up falling for the daughter, what happens if Brayden willingly works for Noma against Tariq? That's how that could happen. But I hope it's not all for some hoo-ha, because that's just so typical. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, one thing I do want to say before we get to the other parts of this description, uh, I know last season... We were quite disappointed because we thought that uh, maybe Kiki was Noma's daughter or it could have been someone else. So uh, I want to see where they're going with that, because obviously that character is going to be pretty important to this season. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different directions they can go. But I, but I, I, I am curious to see what happens between Brayden and Tariq, because obviously, yes, they've been close friends. They always had each other's back to, to an extent. You know, we know all that Braden did for Tariq to try to protect him, so on and so forth. So I, I definitely want to see where they go. But that, that description definitely makes me think there's going to be a lot more tension. So stay tuned. 
Um, so let's go to the, the other part of this uh, statement. That was the first paragraph. OK, this is the second paragraph of what we can expect from season four. OK, Monet may have finally met her maker, but she has no idea who's behind it. Davis suspended impending disbarment in the wake of his brother's death fully embraces the criminal side of his enterprise and finds himself working for both sides, his loyalty dependent on whichever will benefit him most. Faced with the reality that life can end in just a few ways, Effie buckles down on getting out and securing a legit future at Stansfield. Okay, so what are your thoughts on that particular description? <laughs> Well, the Effie part is pretty straightforward because remember how she was, she had the money, she was screwed out, she got involved with things that was just completely over her head. She didn't know, she, she was going to die at one point. Remember that one? When he caught her just dying? And she's like, ooh. And then remember we saw in the sneak peek trailer thing, now even though it's just a snippet in a peek, it seemed like she was standing and I think Kane was behind her. And that could have been like the gun to the execution, and right? We don't know. But I don't think that things are going to come easy as I quit. Something is going to have to pull her back again. Maybe she is. We have that scene where she might be maybe executed. We don't know. Um, so that seems exciting. Um, another part with um, the thing with McClay Mc Davis is. He's kind of always been on the gray side of the law. And for him to fully embrace this, is this like a Saxton situation? I I don't, I wonder if it's like I'm getting revenge on everyone because I'm going to be disbarred. And by that fully embracing his criminal side, what does that mean? I don't know, but it's not something that really stands out for me, just because he was never on the right path to begin with. He always took money. You know what I mean? He was always on the side of the money and really not on technically the side of the law. No one really kind of, cause he was he was just gray. And then we already saw the death of Saxon. So, of Sax, sorry. So, and that was an impactful character. That was, because that was the original. If he does die in this season, or the show, does it have that same weight? And for me, not really. I love Method Man, but the character, his death would not have that huge impact unless it involved, like if he goes down, then everyone goes down and just everyone ends up in jail or dead. That would be great. Um, so that seems to be like, and then we have the Monet situation. Monet is one of those characters where she's always been annoying. So I don't I don't really mind if she meets her fate. I just really want the kids to do it. Um, I know that there's someone that's pulling the strings behind the scenes and we don't know who that is. Um, so that should be interesting. I do know that she met Noma, so it's not really, it could be her, but I don't, I don't know how I would feel about that. And then remember that entire family they murdered? Do, do we know if they had like someone who was bigger up there who was now trying to take down the family? That would be interesting to to figure out and to investigate. So that could be the answer for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, well, as far as uh, as uh, Monet is concerned, uh, I will be curious to see what happens with her next season. We do know that Michael Elay will become a part of the show, and he has some type of relationship with Monet. So I look forward to seeing what that's about, whether it's he's providing intel or he's a dirty cop or whatever. I look forward to seeing that. Obviously, we know he's not dirty based on the description of what they said before, but I'm curious to see what that interaction looks like. Uh, as for uh, Davis, as I mentioned earlier, I do like what Method Man has brought to this show. So I look forward to seeing what happens with him as his story comes to an end. And finally, with Effie, like you said, it's very straightforward. We do know that she is still working with Monet now. And obviously, because she's still working, she does have a goal of ha making a certain amount of money so that, so that she can get out.
But the issue is that I don't really think that uh, Monet is going to want people leaving her operation. So there's going to be some issues with that and how that all how that all uh, goes down. And as for what you said about, you know, somebody pulling the strings behind the scenes, we know that, uh, you know, basically uh, Monet likes the idea of being in charge and ha basically having her kids work underneath her. But Noma is a part of this as well. And I could see that Noma and Monet may butt heads on how they want to run things. That can be an issue as far as causing a lot more chaos within. Because what it looks like in, from the finale of season three is that, again, it is Tariq and Braden versus everybody else. And that's what I said when we did our recap. And I said, yeah, that's great because now they are pretty much making you really be a Tariq fan because you're going to root for Tariq to get out of this and get payback. So, but obviously that there's going to be some issues within. We know that last season, Diana and Drew, they made this whole situation happen with Tariq and they brought it to, to uh, Kane's attention so that Kane would want to go after Tariq. So again, when Kane finds out the truth, I'll be very curious to see how he reacts to both his brother and sister. There's so many things they can go from as far as telling the story. So we got to stay tuned for that. Um, so I'm going to go to the final description that they gave for season four. This is the final paragraph here. Okay. After, and this actually is touching upon something I just said. So after last season's betrayal, Diana and Drew questioned their roles in the game and the family business, while Kane sees an opportunity to level up when he starts working for Noma. As Noma fights to establish her business in the States, she also tries to keep a close eye on her bratty daughter, Anya, who is now on Tariq and Brayden's radar. With the fate of his future in the game and his family at the forefront, Tariq must reconcile his past to rise to the top of the food chain and become who he needs to be to protect those he loves most. Very interesting. So any thoughts on any of that stuff? <laughs> I, I'd say I'm inter it's interesting that they brought up the daughter in that situation. I just hope that no one gets involved because of, of love and it starts changing things around. Um, we do know that Kane, I kind of feel like this. Kane is someone who was never really appreciated in his family. If you look at what happened with, you know, his, his father never let him be the main one. It was always Drew. And we all know that Monet will easily call somebody an idiot, even though something may be her fault. So I do feel that Kane may start feeling that he is more appreciated on Noma's side. And that's how I can understand where he starts to feel more like in power and he can come in, in into his own that way this will have to see this will be a great like uk spinoff with kane because what if noma takes him under his wing and they end up going over to the uk and he starts his stuff over there that's what i want um but i do feel that at this moment he right now is the loose cannon i cannot predict what he can do and praise will go a longer way than constantly telling someone how stupid they are. And I think, like I said before previously, the kids are at their final break and straw point when it came to their mama. Remember, their mama lied. We don't know it was genetics. The kid, remember, the kid was originally the firstborn. The other kid was, was it was a mess. And so I do believe that maybe the other siblings will end up taking his side. And that's how it will go with that situation. I don't I don't know. How do you feel? Those are all good points. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. Like, like, like I mentioned before, I like Kane as a character. So I, you know, obviously he does have beef with Tariq. So if there is a showdown between him and Tariq, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't think they're going to kill off Tariq like that, you know. So I don't really hope that, I mean, I don't know if they're going to take that path. But 
Him navigating this situation, working under Noma, it should be very interesting to see where all this goes. Because obviously, um, I feel that there's going to be some power struggles within the organization. Like I mentioned, they made it made us believe by the end of the season, everybody is on the same page as far as Noma, Monet, the kids, and even Effie. They're all working together. But there's going to be some issues within that. You know, it's going to crumble from the inside. And I want to see how they tell that story. We know that Obi obviously helped Tariq out. And he had some a bit of some ill will feelings towards Noma as well. I would like to see if they expand upon that in season four. Um, but there's so many things to really consider here. And again, like I like I mentioned before, the daughter is definitely going to be a, a, a may play a major role in this because that's the one person that Tariq, if he can get to, then that will be that will pose a threat to Noma if he's trying to get back in the business. Now they may mention that. Tariq and Brayden are trying to get back into the business. They're going to have to definitely find ways to do that. That is a way to do it, to try to get in. But uh, I want to see how they approach that. But, no, I, I just think, uh, obviously, because we only seen the teaser trailer, that Stars is going to release a full trailer at some point, And then we'll have a lot more to say. But what I've seen so far is it is very exciting to know that it is coming to an end. We know that there are some characters that are obviously not going to make it uh, out of this season. It is the final season. There's going to definitely be some spinoffs. So there's quite going to be some characters whose stories will possibly continue into another show. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot to think about. But I, I'm definitely I definitely will be curious to hear what the people, the fans of the Powercast, what, what all of you think about this news and what your thoughts on are on what we discussed as far as the season is concerned. But uh, any other thoughts you wanted to share, Dana? I thought the, the the biggest word that stuck out to me was bratty. It wasn't like, <laughs> um, yep. keep a close eye on her daughter. It was bratty daughter. So that mm -hmm. means I wondered, Noma doesn't have that full control that we would have assumed over her child. Therefore, I picture a lot of sneaking out, a lot of maybe messing with Tariq, Maybe messing with Brayden. Maybe that yep. you guys, you did say that the, the girl could be Anya. So it could be her. And she ends up creating all of these complications mm -hmm. for for everyone. Um, another one that stuck out to me was Tariq must reconcile his past, killing his father, mm -hmm. to rise to the top of the food chain and become who he needs to protect those he loves the most, his father. So he has to <laughs> reconcile with killing his father in order to, I fully, I believe, to fully step into his power to be his father. Yeah. Because uh, it's it's not called Power Book 2 Tariq. It's called Power Book 2 Ghost. Yes. So we're so, seeing so, the final boss of him having to be himself. And this is when we'll probably maybe get a, uh, well, you know how they have the, they bring back the ghost every once in a while to like do, remember he was a literal ghost and we would hear like his voiceover sometimes. And remember he was sitting in the corner. Maybe they could actually have a scene with him and Omari. Well, and that's how we get Omari I, a little bit. I I would like to see that if that's the path they decide to take. Um, I have no idea if they're going to do that. I'm I'm like like we had mentioned yesterday. I'm pretty sure I would hope that Omari and and Joseph Sakura are involved in this origin to some extent, the origin spinoff. But uh, I would like to see that you know to give a fi a finality to everything if that's the path they decide to take but i i but but we did see a couple of shots in that teaser of yeah Tariq looking very much like ghost when he assassinates people with all black on with the gun out and stuff i said okay yeah that this is and, and and i like how you said they we slowly saw that transformation over the seasons with how he wears suits and all this other type of stuff so it makes mm -hmm. sense it makes a lot of sense um but i do want to see where, where where they go one point I do want to add, though, which I find very interesting, and this gives me hope, I didn't see any mention of Tate in that description. So I would like to hope that means that maybe they are going to try to do their spinoff and bring back influence because, again, um, 
Lorenz Tate is, a, is an outstanding actor. Still very much, I mean, he, this guy never ages. I can't even tell what his age is. He looks exactly like he looked from Dead President, so on and so forth. So I would love to see him get his own show to see what he would bring to that show, because I think he would do an excellent job. But again, I don't know what their long-term plans are, but obviously we know that he did get the nomination to go into office. They're not going to be covering all of that in this season, so I would hope he does get his own show. So fingers crossed on that. Yeah. Um, also, another thing, you know, um, would be interesting. We have we talked about previous in the other video about the origins and about mm -hmm. this basically serving and well could be served as a backdoor pilot to the origin show. And remember how they did Raisin Canaan at the very end where they showed you this like clip of the, of the kids at the school. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, look, that's the school we went to. It would be really, and I know that this is corny, and sometimes we got to just go that corny route until we can expand to something that's bigger and, and brighter. But what if Tariq sits down or maybe has a conversation with his mother, Tasha? Because remember, the whole thing, the whole reason why we have this show is to protect Tasha and his sister, whose name I yep. forgot because it's been 20 yes. years since the last season. Yes, yes. Um, and she's explain and he's explaining, you know, instead of running away from my father, tell me about my father. When, you know, the, the the ones when I wasn't here, tell me what was he was like. And that would be really interesting. Will they have like that heart to heart? What happens if he saved today well, and everyone's okay? Because remember, her life was in danger in the last uh season. Remember yeah. that one? And they had to bring back Tommy and he had a conversation with Tommy. Yes. And now they're all well, kind of on the run and on their own. OK. Yeah. Well, you, well, you brought up something when you said that. Uh, the thing about it is that we know that Tasha is the one that shot Monet. So I kind of feel like yeah. that showdown is coming if they go in that route, because that was one thing that I and, I and I made a joke about that on the power cast. I said, where the hell is the security where Tasha is able to get out, get a car and do a drive by and then keep going? And it, that was kind of silly. But that's why I say they, you know, Diana is already knows that somebody else tried to kill Monet and it wasn't Tariq. So I think she is going to find out who that is. And at some point you're going to get a showdown because, again, Tariq does have to try to protect. Like you said, this show has been about protecting his family. But what happens when Tasha does get taken out? Then how that impacts Tariq? I mean, that could also be an interesting story as well. But I think she's definitely going to be back for this season because they've made it a point to keep her around. She's still a part of this show. Even if she hasn't been in every single episode, she's still a part of the show. So you have to see. That is, that is very true. And I wonder, I think if you really want to throw people, what happens if he fails and both his mother and his sister dies and oh, the yeah. grandma? That Ooh. I think, I think I think at that point, uh, Tariq uh, becomes a completely different character, a lot more dark in everything that he does. Um, maybe even worse than Ghost was, because he has no reason to live in terms of a family life. Um, that's a good question. I have no idea. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. But they, but again, they told us you will not be disappointed by this season. So I'm gonna hold them to that. I'm gonna hold them to that word. Um, <laughs> And I believe it because the show has been outstanding. Um, but yeah, the announcement still, it caught me off guard when they said it was ending. Cause I'm like, I mean, it feels like there's still more of that, especially after what happened last season, it feels though. But I did say on the power cast, this show might be ending soon. Once I saw that everybody now was to read versus everybody I said, okay, this is probably going to be maybe another two seasons or so. Um, so but I look forward to seeing how they how they tell this story, how they finish it. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I just I just hope that it was done by like a group decision and not by stars. Because yes. you know, we had this the writer strike and stars has been very angry about that. Remember they just went on that cancellation spree where they canceled mm -hmm. like three shows. And so I do hope that this was like an amicable, we're gonna end the show. It was by, you know, the creators who was like, no, this is going to only last four seasons. Yeah. So, so pretty I much it, 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 
I, I do hope that's the case. So pretty much it has an ending. Like you said, Gary Lennon has the same plan for a force to end at a certain time. So yeah, that makes sense. That's good. Um, but we'll see what happens. But uh, were there any other thoughts, final thoughts you had before we get ready to wrap up? No. Um, I just think, you know, as Noma fights to establish her business in the state, she's going to probably fail, end up going back to UK. We're going to get that UK spinoff with Kane. And, and. <laughs> so yeah. that's it. You can't tell me otherwise. I'm happy. I agree. I'm looking forward to it. Um, once again, I, I, I definitely, well, let me take a quick moment, take a quick minute to thank everybody that left comments on our last reaction. Uh, I have seen a few comments in regards to BMF. Uh, we will talk about BMF at some point on the channel. So rest assured, we're not going to leave you hanging on as far as that's concerned. But I do want to say this. Power, I definitely want to hear what all you have to say about this announcement. I'm pretty sure Tracy, you know, our very good tra Tracy, all the people that usually comment, I can't wait to hear what they got to say because I would like to hear their thoughts on the description but also more importantly on what they think about this show coming to an end. If it makes sense, would they have expanded it longer? So on and so forth. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and again, we look forward to the show returning. We now have a date June 7th, I believe is when it returns. So that's when power cast will most likely return, but we're going to still have a lot more to say. Like I said, we'll do a reaction to the full trailer when they release the season trailer uh, and a couple other things in between. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so, Dana, did you have any, anything else you wanted to say or plug before we wrap up? In regards to BMF, we do have interviews. You can check that out. We have more interviews that are coming. Um, it's very, very interview heavy. So we do have that coming up. And that should be a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Same here. So that's it for right now. Hope that you all have an excellent weekend. And uh, we'll talk to you all again very soon. Yep, indeed. Peace.